Welcome to the introduction to CAD and CAE. In Detail Component Design Part 3, you create the upper part of a plastic injection molded housing. After completing this lesson, you will be able to use Thicken to create a solid part, extrude an opening for a display screen, add a draft to the sides of the opening, add bosses to the inside of the part, and add ribs to strengthen the part. I've opened a file called Upper Plastic Case, and under Bodies we see there's one surface. I want to create a solid, so I've gone to Create, Thicken, select the surface, and enter a value of 2 millimeters. Click on OK, and I've now converted that surface to a solid model. I've changed the appearance of the solid model, so I've gone to Appearance. I have a custom color called Fusion Orange that I'm using. Under Fusion 360 Appearance, in the libraries, you can either use Paint or Plastic. They both have nice solid colors that you can use on this part. Next thing I want to do is create an opening for a display screen. So on the other side, I'm creating a sketch, then a rectangle, and the size of that rectangle is going to be 80, press the tab key, enter 40. So 80 by 40. I now need to locate the rectangle, so D on the keyboard to bring up sketch dimension. From the origin, the first dimension is going to be 40. Repeat the sketch dimension from one corner to that edge, and that's going to be a distance of 8 millimeters. So with the rectangle created, I'm going to go to Modify, select the profile. This is going to be a cut, so I'm going through the part. So in this case, I can go to Distance, All. Click on OK. I'm going to add some fillets to the four inside corners. This is a good example of when to add fillets. I need to create the profile because I'm going to be putting a little lip or edge around this. So I need to add the fillets at this time. So selecting those four corner edges. And with the four edges created, I'll put in the radius, and that's going to be five millimeters. I now have the correct profile, so I'm going to go back to Sketch, select that surface, and I'm going to project the edge. So go to Project, Select the face. That gives me the profile. I can now offset that profile. And I'm going to offset that a distance of one millimeter. In this case, it's a negative value, so negative one. I'm going to modify. Be careful where you select here. It's not a very big area. And that distance is going to be 1.5. Click OK. I need to round those sharp corners, so Modify, Fillet. The first value is going to be 1 millimeter, and then repeat that. Select the second edge, and that's going to be 0 0.25 millimeters. And one thing about this opening is, it's a plastic injection molded part, so I need to create a draft angle on that face. Modify, Draft, and select the two faces that will be involved in creating the angle. That's those two faces, and then enter the value. And that's going to be 2.5 degrees. Click OK. It's difficult to see that draft angle, but it's an important part of the design process. I'm going to create a sketch on that plane. I'm going to create four bosses, starting with a rectangle. The dimensions of the rectangle are going to be 130 by 80. Each of these corners represents the center of one of the bosses. D on the keyboard to bring up sketch dimension. The first dimension is going to be 65. I'm centering this rectangle around the origin. And from the origin to that top left-hand corner, 
a dimension of 40. So now the rectangle is in the correct position. I can go to Circle. I'm going to create four circles, one in each corner. Now, alternatively, you could create a rectangular pattern. The way I'm doing it is a slightly different workflow. You can compare both of those. There's the third diameter, and these are all seven millimeters. So with the circles created, I'm going to modify those and take them down to the bottom surface. Go to Modify, and be careful here. When you select on that, that's only three quarters of it. There's two selections to be made at each corner. Drag that down. I have to do these separately because they have different uh, ending points. Taper angle of 2.5. If you're not sure if it's positive or negative, you can get a little preview. That's what I'm doing now. So it's a positive value of 2.5. Now up to distance, two object, and select that face. So the software resolves that distance for you and it merges nicely into that face. My sketch seems to have disappeared, of course, so back to Sketches, turn on the visibility of that sketch, and repeat the workflow. Select the two parts of the profile. Same on the bottom side. Drag that down. Now again, we know the distance is to the face that's below it, and we can see that face, that's that one right there, so that's good. Taper angle, 2.5. I went to my drop-down list because I'd already put that in. 2, and select the face. Now, I've noticed the operation that changed to cut. My preview didn't quite look correct, so I'm flipping that back to join, and now it's correct. I need to create some holes, and these holes are for self-tapping screws. So on top of each of those bosses, there's going to be a hole. I'm just projecting each of those top surfaces to get that center point. And then creating a circle. And the diameter of that circle is going to be 3 millimeters. Again, repeating that on each of the bosses. Once I've created these four circles, I'm going to modify that and because it's a self-tapping screw, it needs to have a taper to it so that when the screw goes into it, it binds more effectively. So, modify. Select the four circles, dragging it down just to give me a preview. Select the third one, and then the fourth one. So the distance is going to be 15 millimeters. It's a negative value, so negative 15. And from our taper angle, it's not the same as the draft angle. It actually goes in the opposite direction. So be careful of that. And it's a value of negative 2 degrees. Click on OK. I need to add fillets at the base of each of the bosses. Select the fourth one. Now, I want to change my type eventually, but I'm putting in the radius, first of all, of 1.5 and changing it to a type chord length. My chord length changed, so I'm flipping that back to 1.5. Chord length gives you a better, more even fillet around the base of the boss. So that completes the boss. Now, a review of the design shows that these bosses have to be supported. They're not quite strong enough, and the easiest way to do that is to create a rib. So I've started by creating an axis through the center, then a construction plane. And I want it to be at right angles to the preview, so I'm rotating it through 90 degrees. I'm not too worried about the value, I just did that visually. That's the orientation that I want. And create a section analysis on that construction plane. That lets me look at the part. Create a sketch on that construction plan. And I'm going to create a single line that will allow me to create the rib. To do that, I'm going to project that face and that edge. That gives me somewhere to draw the line. Select the first point, 
drag to the right, making sure it connects, and make that the second point. D on the keyboard to bring up sketch dimension. From the lower point to the upper point, and key in a value of 5 millimeters. So that one line is all I need to create the rib. So let's go up to Create, Rib, and select the line. There's a couple of options here. First of all, I'm putting in a thickness of 1, and I'm choosing my Depth option, either 2 Next or Depth. I get an error message with 2 Next. So let's go to Depth. I don't know the actual value of the depth, but what I can do is I can drag it downwards until it fills it in. So it looks about negative 38 would have worked, but the value really isn't that critical. Turn off the section analysis, and let's have a look at that rib. So now that boss is much stronger. I want to repeat that on the other side, so I'm going to go to Mirror, select the rib from the browser, Go to the mirror, select that plane, and click OK. Similarly, on the other two bosses, I need to add a rib, but it's going to go in the different direction. So I've added those two ribs using the same workflow as I did for the first two. Created a construction plane, created a sketch, and then went to create rib. So you can see that plane that I created. I also created a section analysis. Let me just give you a view of that. So you can see how that rib was created. Turn off the section analysis and the construction plane. I then mirrored, just as I did before, to get that second rib. I'm now going to create four bosses to hold in the display, starting by creating a construction plane 8 millimeters away, and then a sketch on that plane. Let's look at that. I'm going to be started by creating a sketch circle center diameter. I want to find the center of that edge. We'll see a little triangle being displayed, and straight up in the air, and that's going to be the center of the circle. The diameter of the circle is going to be 6.6. .6. Press D on the keyboard, bring up Sketch Dimension. From that edge to the center of the circle is going to be 5 millimeters. So with the circle created, I now can go to Modify, select the circle, and drag downwards. The distance is going to be two objects, which is that face, a taper angle of 2.5, and click OK. So that's the body of the boss has been created. Create a sketch on the top surface, look straight at that, and again a circle. So on that top face, drag that out, and that's going to be a distance of 3 millimeters, so a 3 millimeter diameter circle. I'm going to modify. Select that, drag it down. It'll be a distance of 6. I want it to be a cut. I want it to be in the opposite direction there. So it's actually negative 6. Checking on my taper. Again, it's going to be a negative 2 because this is for a self-tapping screw. So just as we did on the other bosses, we need to be able to support that in some way. So I'm going to create an axis through the center of the circle, then a construction plane at an angle. Check that the angle is correct. In this case, it's fine. That's the direction I want to create the supporting rib. Section analysis. Look straight at that, and then create the sketch. So a sketch on that plane. I need to project some edges so I can work with those. So project, horizontal line, and then that sloping line. Go to line, 
and create the profile. So I'm just approximating this. Then I'm going to go to Sketch, Fill it, and add a 2mm radius filler on that corner. Those dimensions look fine, so I'm not going to add any sketch dimensions. Go to Create, Rib. Now, because there was just that one profile, it automatically selects it in this case, which it didn't do before. I want these to be a little bit thicker, so I'm going with 2, and then clicking OK, because my preview is good. Turn off the section analysis, and you can see the end result. Now, I want to mirror that rib to the other side, but I don't have a work plane. So, using that axis that I created, I'm creating a plane at an angle. So, it's negative 90, but again, I was just visualizing that. Create a mirror. In the browser, select the extrusion. You'll probably have to scroll down for that. So, it's a rib. Select the mirror plane and click OK. Turn off the display of the plane. I'm going to go to Construct, Mid Plane. I want to mirror all of that to the other side, but again, I don't have a work plane, so I'm just making sure that I'm using the distance between the opening, and that gives me my mid plane. Go to Create, Mirror, and select all the features that make up that boss and the two ribs. So there are three to be selected. Go to the Mirror plane, click on that plane, and then click OK. And that quickly creates the one on the other side. Turn off the display of the plane, and back to the Home view. Now, using exactly the same workflow, I created two more bosses with ribs. So now it gives me four locating points for the display screen. I'm now going to go out and do a live review session with other members of the design team and get their feedback on how the design is progressing. Following the design review, two design modifications have been recommended. The first is to add ribs to strengthen the case. And the second is to add a lip on the inside so that the upper and lower part of the plastic housing can be created. Let me show you how I did that. To create the ribs, I created a sketch. And that sketch was 30 millimeters from the top face. Again, it's a single line since I'm creating a rib. And then created that rib. Let me scroll down and show you that. So I created the rib, and then I created a pattern. So there are three of them. It was a symmetric pattern, 20 millimeters apart. The second design change was to create that lip. There were a couple of ways of doing it. I decided to create a plane five millimeters away from the top face, then create a sketch on that plane, and project the outside edge up onto that sketch. I offset the line, one millimeter, and then I modified that. Now, it was interesting when I did this, because when you drag that downwards, you actually cut off the top of the bosses. So I had to make another change, that was to create some 10 millimeter diameter circles at the projected edges of the bosses. Then when I modified it, those bosses were not affected. Turn off the view of the sketches. I'll now do another live review session and review those design modifications that I've made. I can also share a public link, share to the Fusion 360 gallery, or out to GrabCAD. If I have a 3D printer, I can create a prototype of this plastic case.